five, four, three, two, one. Ha, 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 ha! Everybody on the board! Ha, 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 ha! Number 92! Hey, welcome everybody, YouTubers, Twitch Twitchers, Soundclouders. Yeah. Fuck you all! Oh. Oh. So, <laughs> <laughs> what guys doing today? Beautiful day! It's hump day! Woo! Camel just ran through the room. Camel just ran through yeah, the room. Yeah, and oh. some humping time. Wow. Very oh. nice day today. It's beautiful day. Fucking <laughs> let's go! We drinking today. Alexander Keith. <laughs> yeah, Alexander Keith. Keith, my Alexander, with the logo said deer on my wall. What does this say? I'll buy this deer. Dear, okay. Deer on the wall? Is that 920 or something? What is the number on this fucking deer? 1820. 1820? I don't know the... That's when they started. The cans was invented? Yeah. There was tins and water bottles in the 1800s. They probably like... They probably... You know what I'm thinking? What the can for com come from? Mm -hmm. That was like shell from fucking uh, gun. Big gun. And they said, what are we going to do? Maybe we pour beer inside. Ooh, we going to close it? Yeah. So they grabbed a giant shell. Yeah! And they say, fuck, look we at this beautiful beer in it. Yeah, I think so. That's what they did. And Very nice. Yeah, it's Nova Scotia beer. Nova Scotia, Scotia Nova. Nova Scotia, Scotia Nova. <laughs> All aboard. We're going. Okay, let's Train go. left the station. Let's get 92 this. station <laughs> just about. Let's get this rocket and roll. Okie dokie. Thought of this question the other day. Oh. What Thought it'd be an interesting question. Question? We start from question? We're going to start with a question. Oh, that's something new. Yeah. All right. It, it was a good question. That was awesome question. Next question. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what question? If you have a chance to talk to anyone in the world yes. that you've never met before, who would you have a talk with, like a conversation with? I've never met, but something I want met. The, pr the rules are the person cannot be dead. Yeah. Must be living. Yeah. You get to sit down with them and have dinner with them for two, three hours. Jesus, what are you going to talk for three hours with Have them? a conversation. Anyone in the but, world you never met before. Who do you choose to sit down and have a conversation with? The most awesome guy, what I'm thinking right now, living on the planet is Elon Musk. Elon Musk. I fucking sit with him and talk to him three hours. Why would you talk to Elon Musk? Because whatever he do, that's interesting to me. He have cars, okay. aliens, <laughs> Mars, rackets, everything where I like it. He, with new technology, where I like it. So that's Elon Musk. Elon Musk. Um, yeah, very smart guy. Interesting choice. Fucking tunnels. Fucking electric Tesla cars, fucking amazing. Yeah, why is he amazing though? Like how he, I remember how he, how he was young. Okay. How he bought it, how he was 23, he bought it first McLaren. Nobody had it, just one example. And they delivered it to his house. And I remember he came up from the truck and I was like, I was, and he looked exactly the same, just younger. Mm -hmm. But like, holy shit, this kid is unbelievable. And nobody gave him nothing. He started with develop shit, oh. selling this pay shit, PayPal, yeah. whatever, yeah. first thing, and then how he made money. Hmm. Very, in, in, very interesting guy living this area, and we still can talk to him if I have a chance. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. That's will be the best. That is the best. Everybody just talking, and you say Elon Musk. Run away. Everybody know who he is. And what he doing? Hmm. Fucking Mars. So if you already know 
everything what he's doing and you already know everything about him, why would you have a conversation with him and pick That's, to have a dinner? Listen, with him? everything what is right now, it's already 10 years ago he probably have it. I want interesting what he thinking ahead. New shit what he never say to nobody yet. That will be interesting because he say on his interview he gonna reveal something but people gonna be shocked. So that's what I'm saying. He he cooking something very interesting. I think so teleporting fucking. He gonna you think he's making teleporting. Yeah, machines. like he can go to the different times and come back. So time traveling machines? Yeah, we're just tele teleporting. No, teleporting is different. No, oh, okay. So it's it's probably he have this technology but he don't want to show us. Okay. And he go he already have on the Mars his fucking condo and everything and he just Going through his fucking door, and he's right there, teleporting. So you think Elon Musk has already created a teleporting yeah. machine yeah. where he teleports back and forth from Earth to Mars? Yeah, without nothing. Without we're, nothing. We're just walking and it's there. Open the door, you're there. You're there. That's what they said. They, they're already teleporting lots of stuff. I was listening on the other bullshit, the UFO shit. Okay. The people say they teleporting like this. They was going, he said he was working in a facility uh, in Philadelphia. Okay. He was going to this elevator. Okay. He go to the elevator, press the button, and he was fucking on the Mars, go for eight hours work, press this, come back, come back out, and fucking go home. Hmm. Now. And he was uh, autopsy, all aliens and everything from different, different uh, things. So I said he probably have this shit. I want to see before I die. I want to know that's true. If teleporting is true. No, everything, whatever he's doing, he probably have more shit. Interesting. Like a fucking woman with three vaginas or something. A woman with three vaginas? Not woman, that alien who is look like human, but okay. it's more advanced. An advanced human <laughs> with three vaginas. <laughs> Whatever. That can teleport to Mars. <laughs> <laughs> and Anywhere you can teleport. You you want he said they they said listen, they okay. said this guy who was working sometimes he have to go somewhere else. Okay. So he said he's going and they say, you know, going to Mars today. Go to this door. So he go to this, poof. He was in China in special facility, just teleporting over there and now, working there. Yeah. Now when you thought of this idea were you watching Monsters, Inc? <laughs> Men in Black? No, Monsters, Inc. Yeah. Oh, were you watching Monsters, Inc? I never... When you were thinking of this no. idea. You know what that movie's about? What? Monsters teleporting into kids' bedrooms oh. by going through different doors oh. <laughs> that go to their houses. So that, listen, So every movie, listen, so is on the something, <laughs> make this movie, so... They always go to people. So, so you think Monsters Inc. is uh, real? Not particular Monsters Inc., but this technology they have already long time. Oh. Teleporting. Uh, but what you're describing? Yeah, that's what they said. That the guy said. Monsters Inc. Yeah, but that's what this guy was doing long time ago before a, Monster Game. A Disney Pixar film. And Disney was smart. He froze himself and he waiting how we have technology and frozen him. Make He's not smart, he's dead. No, he's frozen. He's not technical dead. Yes. Look at frogs. You can unfroze them. Yes, that is true of frogs. So yeah. fucking they freeze themselves and then they come back. Yeah, how what that's what we waiting. Why we can do that? So you wanna randomly freeze yourself. No too cold. <laughs> and then appear in the future. No. I... If it's possible... Okay. <laughs> I can What the fuck is supposed to be some question? How am I supposed to know? That's what I want to met with Elon Musk. I ask him this That's the, your So point. you want to go to Elon Musk and be like, listen. Monsters Inc. How the monsters walk through the doors. Do you do that with Mars? <laughs> But he gonna tell you where you thinking they can this this idea came from. I told him. Hmm. 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 Think about. It. Think about what? Okay, so what fucking you will be asking? Who? Mine would be Leonardo who? DiCaprio. 
Oh my god, fucking actor who pretending to be somebody. No, this is the reason why. Okay. He is one of the most famous people on the planet that no one knows anything about. Yeah. You don't know anything about him. No one knows. I, no one knows what, what, what his country of origins is. He could be American. I don't know he if he's American. American. I don't know. He lives in New York City. What? You don't know he, he was on the show, a kid's show, like Hannah Montana before. I don't know. I watch it. Yeah, but I don't know. You know what I mean? He I was adopted kid from something. I watch him on this show. And that's... I know. He was like a kid from, you know, actor kid. Yeah, before. Before start. He was like on a show, like... A, like, I don't know. Like, Hannah Montana the shit. Ol- the only interest I know he has is protecting the planet shit. Why he wants to protect the planet. What the fuck he does for fun. Hobby. You never Why made it go fun? You didn't you hear never, what he's doing for fun? You never see an interview with hey, I see what he's doing for fun. What? He renting fucking unbelievable yacht with yeah. fucking 85 checks and he have a party. They yeah. always said they want on DiCaprio fucking on TMZ always said DiCaprio always have a party with the girls. Mm-hmm. Lately he uh, listen, he have they see him somewhere. Fuck, I forgot the word. Was lately. <laughs> are you listen? Hey Suri. Are you listen to me? Yes. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> she shut up. Yeah. I would pick Leonardo DiCaprio because no one I there's never been a f- actual interview with him. What? And I don't think anyone knows anything about him. I think so was last time interview. And he's one him. of the most well known people on the planet. And he was going with his mom how he was younger, always on every award. His first big movie was the Titanic. Like from... That's wrong. Big movie was Titanic. Big movie, I say. Big. Pretty sure the Gilbert Grape movie was bigger. What is it about black people? No. Why are you all the sign of grapes equal black people? Why do you big grape. keep thinking? Big about... black. No, it's like when he's like a... The guy who died from... He's the, the kid day. and he's like with these fucking weird creatures and they crawl into a giant like it looks like a peach and shit. Really? Yeah, Gilbert Grape or whatever. Yeah, but bullshit. that movie must be not that big. That was his first movie. Yeah, yeah, I'm not one. saying big. Yes, big was it was t- a big movie. Big movie was Titanic. No. Love story. I'm pretty The chick sh- was all the pretty sh- pits, necklaces. I don't know. She was a beautiful... He was in Basketball Diaries that came out before fucking Titanic. That was a but huge... But nothing was bigger that than Titanic was a huge by movie. James Cameron... And fucking guy who died. Like it was in you. Gilbert Great Basketball Diaries before Titanic. Yeah. Like, those are huge movies. Huge movie, I tell you, with uh, DiCaprio was Titanic. Then was Aviator. That was big movie, but end was crazy because he gets crazy on end. Mm-hmm. The guy who made the planes and everything. Okay. Aviator. After was... I like the beach. Yeah, that's a good movie. But it was before Titanic. And that's after Titanic. Or it was after Titanic. Yeah, the Titanic sank and then he ended up on the beach. beach yeah. Yeah, that yeah. was okay. And the music was fantastic on this movie, I remember. On both movies, Titanic and Beach was good music, good action. This was Thailand, where you want to go, crazy. Mm-hmm. And... Oh, the Django was fantastic. Yeah. With him yeah. playing the white guy. Guy who <laughs> uh, loves yeah, uh, black people. Yeah. Because he actually accepts him. Yeah. And then uh, Samuel L. Jackson was there too. Yeah. A fucking nigger on a horse. Yeah. And he said, some states accept black people, mm-hmm. like equal, and yeah. some states were still slavery. Yeah. So, yeah, that's what happened. Mm-hmm. I would pick him, though. Okay, so him. that's interesting, too, you know. Yeah, because you don't alive. know anything about him. Yeah, fuck it. That'd be an interesting What do you got? Like, what, what, let's uh, pretend that I'm DiCaprio. 
And you're sitting with me. Let's start. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm DiCaprio. Okay, come on. Hey, how's it going, Grant? I'm Good. Leo. Leo, What's, nice like, to meet you. Yeah, so Great. I hear you want to know something about me because... Yeah. I'm supposed to nobody talk about yeah, me. Yeah, what, what city were you born in? Oh, fucking Philadelphia. Philly? <laughs> okay. I like Rocky. <laughs> <laughs> my, my, my mom was a big fan of the Sylvester Stallone. Okay. So, fucking I born. My dad took off. <laughs> With, with black chick. <laughs> so you're half black. No, my dad took up with black chick. Oh, he left. Yeah, with my mom is white. We oh, we Italians. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I started doing the little stand ups uh, for little kids. Stand up. Like you're a the... stand up comedian. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And okay. I and eventually I end up on the TV shows. Okay. Yeah, like fucking. Uh, so you never set. went to acting school? No, started to run away, pick up a like kid, pick up shit, and <laughs> I became. Pick up kid and pick, pick up no, shit. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I pick it up with the. Like, I was good with that thing. I didn't even think. You were good with that thing. Whatever I said, they like it. Okay. So I said one day, uh, grapes, and they say, oh, you're gonna be this <laughs> <laughs> so what, what else you want to know? I have a big yacht party. You can be invited. You want to go this? Big yacht? Yeah, no. fucking uh, 70 kilometers. Well. Why do you like the environment so much? Listen, I'm thinking we're in interesting times. We should help the planet. Okay. Because I, I look one time by the window <laughs> and the guy driving this jet are fucking smoking like crazy. Jet is smoking? You, you know, like uh, pollution. Okay. And then fucking the beer die. <laughs> he went behind his car, got dizzy, okay. <laughs> and hit the pavement. But my friend, okay. from Polly from 51 area, 51 area, okay, make him <laughs> clean and he does a bit. Well, anyway, I love fucking Wells. It's, not, <laughs> it's nothing, nothing more beautiful like Blue Well <laughs> on the free oh, ocean. So do you do that as a hobby, whale watching? Yes. That's wow. fantastic. <laughs> Did you know they whistle to each other? They whistle to each other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. This Beautiful. Is... And then, because we don't care about this planet, we're going to end up fucking no have whales whistle. They're going to cough. No whales whistling. Yeah, they're going to just cough, cough, <laughs> and yeah. bubble, and, and goodbye. Bu- <laughs> And bubble and goodbye. Eventually, they're gonna try to run away. <laughs> no, exactly. Did you hear the story about this, like, fifty wells on uh, some beach, dead everywhere? What do you think they do? Yeah, they don't wanna sit was... in the shitty uh, uh, ocean okay. with pollution. They crawl out and they say, "Fuck it, yeah. we're leaving." We're leaving. But well, after they forgot it, they need water. Yeah. So what I wanna do? Okay. I wanna create. <laughs> <laughs> special special donation. Okay. So we fresh water to ocean. Clean the shit over there. So but, the wells but when, and then we're gonna bring every big well, any big well from all the Baham bells, big bells, <laughs> blue bells, wells, uh, small wells, big bells, black wells, uh, orcas. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe not, they're very violent. But okay. but whales, so bells of yeah. what do you call this? Yeah. Whales. Whales. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See I help environment, that's why. Yeah. And our planet, the solar fucking problems. <laughs> oh my So any more questions then? What do you like to eat? <laughs> no. I can order something for you. Yeah. We have uh, some Philly cheese. Uh, <laughs> Oysters are good. Oysters, the best, man. Yes, they are. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they are. Look like you have the same taste what I have. Yeah. Yeah. So what? What the next question you want to ask me? What do you do? People don't know about me. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yes, I like fuck. I have a lot of bitches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah. I like fuck. Yes, yeah, we we okay. we have open relationship with all my girlfriends. All the girlfriends. So how many girlfriends do you have? Fifty-seven. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot. It's fucking 
I tell you, that's work. Is it work? Yeah. yeah. Fuck, sometimes there's no half time. Well, yeah, I, I can see that, yeah. Um, fuck, like, seven, then I have to take a break, and then I'm fucking so tired. <laughs> so they, they give me rim jobs and fucking everything else. Okay. Fucking pull my balls down. <laughs> They pull your balls down. Yes. Yeah, okay. So, f- fucking, they clean them up. Okay. Lickable. Lickable, and, yeah. And, uh, yeah, so that, that's that's hard work, fucking man. Sometimes I think, you got fuck me sideways, I'm gonna be gay. Hmm. But that's more work. Oh. Now you have to polish the shafts and everything. <laughs> so, I tell you, that's what I'm doing. And then, script's coming, I have to study. Okay. And I want to be became this person, so I'm study, and we can be create character what I want to be. Mm-hmm. Let's see on Titanic. I was the little uh, maintenance boy. Maintenance uh, boy. He was a painter. You were a painter. Sorry. I mean. No, <laughs> he was on the on the boat as a paint. He was a painter. He was a homeless paint. painter. He was on a boat going to New York City. What happened in Titanic was, which I think is a fucking garbage movie. Because I actually sat down and watched it. First of all, when you have a flashback that lasts two and a half hours, shoot me in the face. Shoot me in the face. The you, whole movie is a flashback. You try tell me my movie was fucking, fucking this is not the, good movie? This is the storyline of Titanic. No, I know, I was done! A bunch of marine biologists yeah. go looking for this rare blue diamond that cost $20 million in the ocean. And they have records saying it was on the ship that sunk in that location. Yes, in the same. Then they found a woman who survived the Titanic. Yeah, that's the chick. And they asked her... Where can this blue diamond be on the ship? Dumb bitch goes into a giant love story for two and a half hours. Flashback. Talking about how she met this little white kid who was homeless. Gambled his way onto the boat. Winning a ticket in a bar to get on the Titanic. Gets on the Titanic. Basically paints her naked. Falls in love with her. Yeah. And then they hit an iceberg. They sink. And then he dies. And but then, he saved at the end of the movie, the door. they're like, oh, great story. Where's the $20 million diamond at? I threw away. And she had it. The cunt had it on her the whole time. Instead of being smart and being like, I know where it is. You could just pay me the $20 million. No. She goes at the end of the movie to the boat and throws $20 million off the boat. Throws it in the garbage, basically. Yeah, that's what happened. And that's why I hate Titanic. I know, but... Because it shows... That was my idea. Sometimes people are pretty fucking stupid. No, because I say to the director, he said he won't say, oh... Let the hell say to everybody, pay me 20 million. And I say, no, will be shocking for the all audience how she's going to throw away. And even this guy who was trying to find this thing, he said, yeah, throw away. After he listened to the story, we'll discuss this, everything. They no, pain, you the people you, die. No. It's amazing. I don't, I don't care about the people dying. They made a big ship and the fucking dumbass didn't know how to drive it. Wow! Amazing! The whole point in the movie was these guys looking for this $20 million diamond. That was the plot of the movie. On the beginning, yeah. That was the plot but of the movie. But then the plot... The chi- the it would have sh- made sense if the chick was like, I can tell you where it is if you if you give me $25 million. Security! Security! And then she goes, oh, look at this. This guy I is have crazy! It right here. She could be like, I have it right here. $25 yeah. million. Right here. Boop! You don't have to be crawling through the ocean anymore. If this will be Mayweather, wait a second, my back with my here we go. Yeah, oh like I don't know, Titanic. I don't know. I think so was very that's day. Was Love very story. Nice. Get the fuck out of here. Nobody cares. Okay, you have more question for me because I have to go. No, that's it. All that's right, all that's 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 what you ask me. Yeah. Okay. All right. See you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Okay. Thanks very much. Yeah. 
Victoria Monet. Do you know who that is? Victoria Monet? <laughs> Monet. Oh, okay. I know Victoria Monet, which is... No. <laughs> Victoria Monet. Is there even one? No. Okay, so who is Victoria Monet? Monet. Monet. Is a best friends with Ariana Grande. They released a song on April 1st. Called, oh. Together called Monopoly. Oh, so that was like a joke, probably. No, it's a real song. You can listen to it on Spotify. Yeah, I know, but it's probably, Everything. Probably, Everything. They just made a song together. Yeah. You know, oh. On April 1st. Oh, really. And people are blown away that uh, Ariana Grande said the lyrics in the song, I like women and men. She, she's bi. So she revealed she's bisexual. Who won fucking around Grande? Big head fucking no tits. Big head no tits? Yeah, look at her. I was looking, they were showing her compared to different chicks. She's actually big fucking woman. Like what? alien looking. Yeah, she's big. Like big size. Like head is too big. And they were comparing with different girls. And she's like, she looks small if you're looking on her single. Like nothing. But if you're looking on her with somebody else, she's like a big version of the small girl. It's like big. Like really, no tits. What the fuck? Unbelievable. I will be fucking have to put pillow so I know have like poke by her or something. Hmm. That's interesting. I don't know what the fucking fuss is about this. Uh, and the mean? fucking cover is upside down. What the fuck? What do you mean? She like cover her cover is upside down. Yeah, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about Ariana Grande. Yeah. That's why Pete dumped her. He told us fucking she was crazy. Bitch was gonna be crazy. She started being in love with the dead guy, which was Mac. Mac who accidentally overdosed. Yeah. He on this marijuana cookie. That's what he did. Sure. So anyway, sad he died, but fucking bitch is crazy. So she made the song Monopoly <clears throat> with her friend, Victoria Monet. Yeah, so they what happened? It. Yeah, okay. Uh, they said it's funny because Ariana Grande was getting in a lot of shit for performing at Manchester Pride Festival last year. And they're like, how come you could let this straight woman perform at a gay festival? And then this curveball comes out and it's like, JK, I'm bisexual, which means guess what? I'm gay. And now all the gay people look like assholes. They look like assholes because the stupid lesbian feminist cunts who see a superstar on stage and then they assume she's straight yeah. because she's out and about with a bunch of men. Uh -huh. Now they realize that she likes to lick pussy like what? them. Oh. So now these asshole gay people who were talking her brother is, shit. Her brother is yeah. gay. Yeah. Oh, you couldn't click that in your head that she has gay relatives and all she hangs out with is gay people? You don't think in your head that she might <laughs> dabble into gay shit? They don't remember. They, they don't remember. Listen, no, he, shut the fuck up. I'm talking. Oh they my god. They don't remember that there was pictures released of her making out with girls three years ago. With who? And in her music video, her new music video for uh, "Break Up with Your Boyfriend Because I'm Bored," she she literally gives the hint of her making out with a chick at the end of the yeah, music so video. Yeah, so she's by. So, uh, you fucking gay lesbian people need to. Wake the fuck up and not make assumptions so quick. They racist. No, that's not it. <laughs> they they don't like straight people. The gay. But people. she wasn't straight. Yeah, but now they feel stupid. Yeah, because they are stupid. Yeah, they racist. Because they jump gay to, people. Yeah, because they jump to assumptions. When this fucking gay became so cool? What do you mean? Like you know, fucking oh, we gay, you not gay, fuck off. That's not the cool part. The cool part is. Guess what? You want to fuck? Now you have more options. To fuck. Because with lesbians... You can shifting. With lesbians... You can hauling. With chicks, is either you could go find a penis or go buy a penis. Ooh. 
Either way. How much? Can, how much can... is the penis? <laughs> <laughs> how much is the penis? I don't know how much dildos go for. Mm -hmm. But you know, it's uh, yeah, that's interesting. Good for her. Fucking shovel the fucking vagina to gay community. Yeah, look at this vagina to vagina now, <laughs> <laughs> penis to penis. I don't <laughs> fucking care. Ah. Yeah, that's why I was singing of this fucking festival of gaynesses. Yeah, pride festival, pride in Manchester. Of Manchester, England, where Which, they were shooting, yeah? Yeah, where Ooh. they attacked and bombed her concert there. A year Hint, before. why would she choose to go to Manchester Pride out of any other thousand Pride festivals that happen all year round around the world? Maybe. Because there was actually, she has like a personal connection with Manchester. That's where she combined. Where she raised... Hundreds of thousands of dollars for the victims. Hundreds of thousands. And did a huge benefit concert over there. People have too much shit in their eyeballs. And that's clearly they can't see. Probably fucking penis to her eyes. Yeah. That's have just in the eyes. They can't see shit. Yeah, it just blows my mind that fucking people are... Uh, fucking racist. Stupid. Stupid racist. You're racist? You're racist. <laughs> 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 Does I'm, it mean everyone's racist? No, I'm not racist. <laughs> I'm no race with nobody. Yeah? I'm too slow. Too slow. I'm You're not... slow, sis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good one. You bad my shit now. You well, slow, sis. You slow, sis. Yeah, why well, I'm racist. No, I'm not. Well, I'm, I'm slow, slow sis. Yeah. <laughs> I'm no race. I'm not slowing down. You're slowing down. Yeah, right? I'm 50 yeah. still here. Sure. You want to give your music list? Fucking amazing music list! I need new eyes. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, here is the list. Yeah. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the best fucking song. Sword of the... <laughs> Sword? Sword? Sword of the Highlands. So, word? You know. Yeah. Sword of the Highlands by new album by Manu Manowar. Yeah, manure. Manure. <laughs> the second is Fatline. Yeah. Or somebody died by Balo. What? Yeah. Third song is Word on the Fire, Battle Beast. Mm -hmm. And uh, oh, and uh, number two, right before number one is. Nimrod <laughs> by Nine Sirens. Nine Sirens. Nomnarod. They couldn't do ten? Nanrab. No. No. Oh, Everything after nine is taxable. Oh. You have to pay tax. Okay. To nine, you know, pay. Yeah. And number one for this five dirty song of number 28 okay. is Deutschland by Rheinstein. Brand new album, mm. 2022. Wow, <laughs> 2022. <laughs> because probably they're not gonna make it to so many. But that's unbelievable good album, uh, Deutschland. Go for it. Next year they're gonna make Canadians. Canadians. Oh. Tell myself, pizza. Pizza. Okay. What can I like? <laughs> Beaver tells. Beaver Tales, okay. Yeah, that's not a fucking So they're gonna sing about Beaver Tales. So that's my list. Grinch you gonna <clears throat> post that thing here? Yeah. So Canada made it in the news. Ooh, Canada <laughs> My holy awesome land mm. where the moose and beaver are kinky chop. <laughs> <laughs> and we drink uh, Alexander give me <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Keep going. Yeah. Yeah, right. So what happened in Canada this time? Canada time? is the worst country getting affected by climate change on so, the planet. What do you mean worst? What do we have problem with? Canada is the warmest <laughs> on average yeah, we're gonna have four at a rate as twice as fast as any country around the world getting increase in heat. 
I have my air condition ready. <laughs> yeah. Canada's temperature is increased by 1.7 Celsius, which is 3 Fahrenheit, since 1948. Wow! And We're getting some, hot here! And in some parts of northern Canada, it's increased by 2.3 Celsius in temperature. Just shoot me. This is causing the Canadian Arctic to melt at a fast rate, which is causing mad flooding. Wow. Which we seen in Toronto already last year where fucking half of the city went completely underwater. <laughs> what? Wait a second. What's Toronto get underwater? Yeah, there was a giant flood in Toronto. Do you not remember that last year? They had a canceled concert from Budweiser Stadium because the water from the Great oh, yeah, Lakes yeah, yeah, yeah. flooded the whole stadium. Yeah, because it was, there was so much two melting feet, snow. There was two feet of water yeah. throughout the whole city. There's a much. video of Shakira, Shakira freaking the fuck out. On canoe. Because she's like, oh my god, this water is going to hit the door. This I know, going to shake my head. People's water, shake my people's cars were going underwater driving on the roads in Toronto. And the sink. That's how bad it was. What? Yeah, yeah, that was big rainstorms. Yeah, yeah so <clears throat> Canada is getting fucked with heat. Awesome. Nakedness coming soon. It's going to be so hot, nowhere to close. Do you know the country... Big Schmauser, Big Bowser. <laughs> Do you know the country... Yes. Brudny. Brudny Gatki. <laughs> we know the country. Brudny. Brudne, which you is dirty. That? No, <laughs> it's not the same spelling. <laughs> okay, so Brudne. Yeah, the country Brudne. Where is the country located? Where do you think it's located? Africa. No. Russia. No. <laughs> Uganda. No. Right beside Nigeria? No. no. Okay, fucking... Asia. Yes. Always fucked up people in Asia. Yes. Some Chinese shit, some... Which, nothing wrong with Chinese, but like that's what they have this... What he was thinking, like, you know, why do everybody have like this fucking eyes over there? I don't know why. I that's don't... why I'm asking I you. don't care. That's what I'm gonna ask Elon Musk. I'm saying, why, why do, you... do Asians have squinty eyes? That's what yeah. you're gonna ask Elon Musk. And you know what they said? Even the vaginas is sideways. Yeah, wow. Clearly not racist. <laughs> Slowest. 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 Okay, yeah. so so what's going on in this Brudnegatki country? <laughs> they pa they passed a new law that makes anal sex yes and adultery yes offenses oh by punishable death by stoning to death. Yeah, that's just the same. So if you're caught doing, like, which is, that means gay Can you explain to the our viewers what is new law in the Brudne country? <laughs> so, basically, the anal sex is gay sex, because the only way gays can have sex is anal sex. Or oral. So... <laughs> You forget the other yeah. option. Okay. All right. So, so this country <laughs> that's bordered with basically the Middle East and Asia, yes, or that's near, they have a high population of is Islamic people. So, well, which means there's lots of people. There's a lot of Islamic people. And you say they have gay sex and they became popular. So these gay people are now worried in this country because uh -huh. now if they just live their normal lives and, gay life and be normal human beings that have sexual intercourse they could be now stoned to death that's not normal intercourse with fucking fucking somebody in the ass that's not normal that's you, different getting sexual pleasure from it as normal intercourse Ita yeah Italia? <laughs> <laughs> what what is the uh, the who is like uh, uh, the president over there? I have no idea. <laughs> but basically I'm going to call him and say good job. <laughs> basically what happened now he brought back like a fucking thing they did to Jesus. Run back. 
Yeah. Brook Brand Mountain. That's what happened. No, Gay like guys you can fucking read in fucking the fucking ass. No, in the Bible, yeah. they talk about how they used to stone people to death. Yeah, they they that's what they was punished. So he's something. like, what can we do to punish them? That was like humanitarian. Uh, uh, and they're like, they, because before they after they were shooting people, now they stoning. So fucking maybe sometimes you. They just invented guns like a couple hundred years ago. Yeah, he's sto- grabbing something. Yeah. <laughs> that is two thousand years old. Yes. Where they didn't even invent the fucking wheel yet. You know what I want to be stoned out. On the desert. You want to be stoned to death in a desert? Yeah, because no stones over there. Just yeah, sand. sand. Yeah. Blow sand in my mouth. Yeah. Drown you to death in sand? That no, would be that's terrible. Yeah, that would be horrible. No. Okay, I'm going back on uh, Kilimanjaro. They say Kilimanjaro, which is a freaking <laughs> mountain. Okay. They find out the melting snow on Kilimanjaro. The, the fastest melting snow everywhere. So that's the most... Even uh, though I just said Canada is the most affected country in the world right now. I don't know why you get this, war. but I get Kilimanjaro, they said, over no. there. They I see think it. you should Kilimanjaro your ass. <laughs> no, Kilimanjaro is the most affected from new global warming, they said. Wow. Because there was so much snow, now there's nothing left. Oh, maybe it's summer. <laughs> <laughs> no, because it usually was cold over there so high, but Kilimanjaro is very high mountain yeah and now it's almost naked mm-hmm. so okay so fucking burma everybody <laughs> Not gets Bur- stoned Not burma no the stone business going good Bru- brunei brunei yeah not yeah. god king but brunei country brunei the yeah. country yeah Bru- we time watch this country from the dirty people they have another law that says lesbian sex yeah can carry different penalties no penalties which Lesbians can fuck each other. I can Listen watch. to this now. Okay. Gay people stoned to death oh, with geez. gay men. Oh my god. Lesbians, their punishment what? is to get 40 hits by a cane. <laughs> I, just, I just see. Yeah, bad lesbian. You yeah. two girls are eating out each other's pussies. 80 Cop comes. Dun, dun. With a cane, cane and walking. he says, I'm going to punish you. And the girls are like, yes. And then all of you start counting. One, two, two. To 80 for two. 40. Right? Yeah, 40 per yeah, each. Yeah. Yeah. But they get beat with a cane 40 times. Like a dildo size. Yeah, big dildo cane. <laughs> <laughs> oh, or, my God. Or they get... We became too much fucking pornographic fucking or uh, they become, broadcast. Or it becomes maximum of 10 years in jail for being lesbian. So they go fuck around like about eight times and go every time to the, for 10 years. And eight so years let me like, repeat with this country. Brutney. If you're gay, don't go here. It makes... It's somewhere in Asia. Somewhere in Asia. What kind of flag do you have? And so if you're gay and you do anal sex, you're going to get stoned to death. And, and if, if you're, you're a lesbian, lesbian eating you're gonna pussy, gonna a... you're going to get whacked by a cane 40 times. Yeah, or go to for jail. 10 years to jail, jail and fucking... And eat more pussy there. Yeah, clean some ribs. Hey, no, they know going to What lesbian. a great idea. Oh, we don't want lesbians here. Let's put them all together locked up in a building. All lesbians together and let, let them fuck in the jail. With the gay guys. Wow. What a great With idea. With the gay guys. Clearly, this country needs to wake the fuck up. Listen. Everywhere was no internet. No you porn. <laughs> no jerky. For, uh, like. Uh... But the thing is, they have a gay community there. Like a big gay community. No, look like it's that. And now the, they're in they're f- fucking they in like big the trouble. Gay, the gays got to move out. Yeah, fuck it. The thing is, how do they... Like, how would they know if you're gay or not? Like, how would they catch you? Like, they would just randomly break into your house while you're having gay no, sex? No, they're going to ask you, like, what is your favorite color? <laughs> That's the test? What, do you, what is your what? favorite color? Blue. Okay. You're gay. <laughs> bring all, bring all uh, the stones. Uh, and they come with big gravel what bags. What kind of stones do you like? A big one or small? <laughs> oh, they give you the selection of what stones yeah. to throw. Yeah. Well, no, 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 no. I ask you, what are you looking for? 
Okay. No one say we're gonna throw on you. Are, are you gay or something? No. no oh, no. okay. <laughs> are you lesbian? <laughs> I like pussy. Yeah. You lesbian? Yeah, technically. Bring the cane. <laughs> anyway, so fucking. Yeah, that's the new laws over there. It's funny. It's fucking amazing. It's crazy. They I don't even know what they're... this country is. <laughs> Western Asia. Yeah. Imagine what this is a flag of. It's like that country... Like, that, probably dealt out with X. It's by like a sea. It's by a sea and it's like... Which there's, sea? There's Omen. There's that country. There's this Omen. country. Yeah, Omen. Where Avicii died. Where he overdosed. Oh, yeah. You said the Yeah. yeah. Like it's uh, those little Asian countries that are like against the sea with the Middle East. And then there's like a sea in between them. Oh, that's what is all the uh, Love Boys Association. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Jeffree Star. You know who Jeffree Star is? I know Tony Stark. I didn't say Stark. <laughs> what did you say? say? Star. Like a star? Yeah, like a star in the sky. What? Jeffree Star. A lot of stars of Jeffrey's right now. Jeffree Star is a famous guy on YouTube who makes makeup videos. <laughs> I, I don't understand. I'm thinking you gay. <laughs> <laughs> From the fucking this gay countries. The, this is the news this week. Yes. Everything is gay this week. <laughs> this is the know. gayest week ever for news. I don't know. I always watch news. I don't see nothing gay on the news. You're finding some gay shit. Okay. No, continue Jeff- about your so Starman. Je- Jeffrey Star. Starman. Yeah. He has a big makeup yeah. company, big makeup line. So like what do you call it? Star Company? I don't know. Jeffrey Star Makeup. Some bullshit. Whoa. Oh, wow. Very you nice. Yeah. So apparently someone broke into his warehouse and stole $2.5 million worth of makeup from his company's warehouse the other day. Okay, so now you know what police going to do. He, Every nice gay he, guy who have nice makeup. Like, no. Where did you get this makeup? He called the FBI and the police. They came. So, F- Federal Bureau of Investigation. Yeah, full body inspectors. They came yeah, in. Exactly. And... Uh, they were like, maybe they stole your makeup to sell on the black market. So he's my. Why you say black? Why no white market? Because, Why are you saying about because something it, racist? It, no, even in this that's not racist. Black, black nighttime. Not they hide in the shadows so no one sees them. So so one no one knows they're there. So it's like a dark market, black market. You didn't say dark. They don't call it the dark market. Why do they call it the dark arts? Yeah, but they don't call it the black arts. Why they should use the black? The black should be not on the vocabulary. Why? We can use the grapes market. No, there's no grapes (laughs) in the market. A lot of blacks going to for grapes. But basically, someone broke in. And what happened? And he was like, "I never thought on a Monday." I would be standing talking to the FBI talking about how my makeup would be sold on the black market. And the question is, why Tony Star. the fuck? Yeah. And he's gay? Would someone steal He's gay? I yeah, probably. If I had to take a guess. If you saw how he looked like, <laughs> you would be it? like, holy shit, that's gay. <laughs> hey Suri. Show Who? me the pictures, Tony Star. You're fucking retarded. That's not his name. You just told me. Don't no, start. No, it's not. Jeffrey Star. Hey, right, shut up. <laughs> hey, Siri. Tell me, who is Jeffrey Star? Jeffrey Star is an American internet celebrity, makeup artist, model, entrepreneur, and singer-songwriter. Should I keep going? Keep going. You were saying? Keep going. <laughs> Everything except picture. <laughs> I'm gonna have to see this guy. Okay, wait. Then. So he was famous before for having, yeah, he was the most followed person on MySpace. And he made a music and everything, and then he switched to makeup, became Jeffree Star. Impressive, fucking. 
not dead air for fucking 30 seconds. And took him to the Taj Mahal. Yeah. So, he's got 14 million subscribers on YouTube. He's big. He's got a big cosmetic line. Someone stole $2.5 million of makeup from him. He's angry, even though he literally makes videos on YouTube how he throws out million dollars worth of clothes. Oh, I was thinking he threw a million dollars. No, he go, there's a video of him going like in his garage or some giant closet, and they clean out all old clothes, and then all the old clothes end up being worth like a million dollars. He throws out a million dollars worth of clothes. So, technically, his makeup that they stole is worth $2.5 million in the marketplace, like in stores, but... Realistically, it probably only cost them like two hundred fifty grand to make all that product. Jeffrey Star. And you see a picture of him. You click on images, dummy. When you go on Google, you click on images. That is Jeffrey Star. That's Jeffrey Star. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jeffrey Star. Star. Yeah. Uh, he's one. He's one fucking, of the... fucking sick <laughs> bastard. What do you mean? You fucking look crazy. He's one of the most famous people on the planet. The first time I see him. Really? No kidding. He's gay. Yeah. A guy who looked like fucking Adamana Grande. He looks like you think Jeffrey Star. The same color, looks hair, like everything. Ariana no Grande. wonder she's gay. <laughs> they both should be this look. The same kind of hair here. Ariana no, Grande. if he dated Ariana Grande, that would just be a straight relationship. Oh, here he should go for a fucking Halloween party. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> That's Jeffrey Star. Fucking psycho. What do you mean? You look fucking crazy. No, it's pretty normal. No, no, not not for me. Why? You want my opinion? Fine, I tell you. Fucking imagine what? Imagine wacky, this. Wacky. You had to dress yourself like that every day. I know what I to, just look to be a millionaire. Fuck. You're gonna get paid three million dollars a year. That's it. And you just have to wear that pink wig. And put makeup on your face. Would you do it? Give me the pink wig and make yeah, it. Exactly. Yeah, so, $3 million? So there's no reason to talk shit because any guy on the fucking planet would do the exact same thing he's doing right now. But he was smart enough to think about that earlier. I'm so pretty. I'm so How pretty. How am I going to be a millionaire? Oh, I know. I'm gonna dress like a I'm fucking gonna do some, drag queen. I'm gonna do something no one's doing, which is I'm gonna go wear makeup. I'm gonna find the dog and teleport myself to Mars. Mars, yeah. yeah, or Philadelphia. <laughs> Mars and Philadelphia. Yeah, so Mars, fucking, I don't know. I've been to Philadelphia. It doesn't look like Mars. Fucking DiCaprio. Yeah, his mom loves Sylvester. But like anyone would do the same thing he's doing. Yeah, anyone. Okay, not anyone. I would yeah. say I want four million dollars. He 100% makes, like, at least $5 million a year. Oh, Easy. my God. Where do you find these people? What do you mean? They're just around. <laughs> we have a global warming. Yeah. Jeffree Star coming. Yeah. Pink. Yeah. I love pink. No, that's not what he sounds like. He sounds like a normal dude. Well, Bing, what's yeah. going on? I love everybody except not Mexicans. No. Oh, wow. Not Mexicans. They too short. Oh. People in Los Angeles complain because they cut uh, hedges too low. Yeah. Because they too, too small, short. short. They can't they reach. Can, yeah, oh. and then people need hedges higher a little mm. bit. You know, nice. That's what I'm saying. I, I with Donald Trump. Fucking wall, man. <laughs> Did you hear he's shutting down complete? Fucking... The border with Mexico, <laughs> which is going to cost him $8 billion per day, not have opened this wall. Wow. Border. Nobody, Viva Mexico. No, Viva Closeto. No, but, no more Cominito. Hey, there's a reason Europe is ahead. They have this thing called open borders because they all live on the same continent. So there's no reason for borders. Yeah. 
Who, now, look who's fucking get bananas now in Europe. The, Britain, they want to be out. And guess what? That has nothing to do with borders. That's what I'm saying. There's Holy only one shit. now back. You keep changing the subject. No, you don't understand. Yes. Why I said that? Think Oi. about it. They Th don't... Think about it why I said that. Oi. You said it's beautiful country, Europe. Open borders. Mm -hmm. Now this retards one came out from this thing. So now no, we have to... Not. Yeah, they want to be out. So no. they're going to have a borders. In Ir no. Ireland, you have two islands. That's completely different. They don't want to be part of a currency exchange. Which is all fucking that game. goes through all of Europe. No, and you have they to have a border. They want to have their own currency. Yes. That's yeah, that has nothing to do with borders. Yes, it does. That, everything to no, do with... No, it doesn't. It has to do with immigration and work. That's completely exactly. different. Exactly. Shut the that border. That has nothing to do with You're borders. That has nothing to do with borders. You're wrong, wrong, that wrong, 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 wrong. That has nothing to do with borders. Wrong, wrong, wrong. I tell you, you're wrong. It has nothing to do no, with borders. Be, everything. That's e why these people said 15 Britons. Say, what the fuck is our government doing? Holy we want I don't give open. a shit about England right now. I don't give a shit. I'm trying to make a comparison that we're North America. Canada, United States, Mexico. No it's Mexico. All the... Stop putting this fucking country here. It is. No, it's part we of North not... America. No, fucking yes, Mexico. It is. We're has... all on the same fucking continent. We always We're have all some on the same country. Okay, don't let me talk, you fucking dumbass. You don't even know what you're talking about. I ask Siri what countries are in North America. I know I'm what you're saying. Ask but Siri. I'm saying to you. I don't care what you're saying right now. <laughs> okay, finish because your thoughts. Yeah. We should have open borders just like how they have in Europe. It's only three countries. <laughs> Tell to this Donald Trump. Open borders! They're the same people. They're gonna murder They're them. They're the same people. We're all on the same piece of land. It's the same people. Poor people. There's no difference. Poor violent people. Cortels. What do you mean? There's poor violent people in the States. There's poor violent people in Canada. Really? There's no fucking difference. Yeah. I hear Donald Trump will build a wall on our side too now. Because it's a lot of... We already have a ditch. <laughs> because he says it's a lot of violent... made a hole in the ground. ...violent fucking gangs from Canada going yeah. there oh, and wow. smuggle marijuana now on this side. Oh, wow. Cool. Even even though marijuana is legal in like 12 states. Not, we're smuggling it. But some states not. Like fucking... I know, I know. Are you getting frustrated because you can add in... No. You want to be Mexican? I never I forget. I want to be American, uh, No, I never forget what I asked you one time. <laughs> and I said, what do you want to be? And he said, I want to be Mexican. <laughs> now I understand you have love for this country. What is Mexico fucking capital? I don't know. I've never been there. You should go there. <laughs> <laughs> like fucking... Mexico is Mexico City. Yeah? Ask Siri what the capital of Mexico is. <laughs> Hey Siri, what's the capital of Mexico? <laughs> hey Siri. What is the capital city of Mexico? Mexico City is the capital of Mexico. <laughs> See, Mexico City is the capital. See, they're okay. very intelligent. Yeah. <laughs> we gonna call ourselves Mexico. What is your capital? Mexico. What is the national? Mexican? Yeah, look at Quebec. What's their na national city? Quebec City. Yeah, but... That's fuck, their capital. But the uh, capital of Canada is fucking Ottawa. That's what I'm saying. Mexico... There's no states or provinces in Mexico. Just like in Russia, you want be capital be Russia. No, it's Moscow. Yeah, but Because there's just one giant country. There's no states. There's no provinces. It's a fucking single country, just like Mexico. No. Yeah. And they have New Mexico on our side. Yeah. Why this New Mexico is called New Mexico? What is New Mexico like, uh, you know? <laughs> Why they call it New Mexico? <laughs> <laughs> Why are we talking about Mexico? Because you won't be Mexican. I no. asked you. And finally, Laura Lightfoot is the new mayor of Chicago. She's black? She is the first female black mayor of exactly. Chicago. Exactly. She just kicked this old man out. out yeah. And now. Isn't that coincidence that Jesse Slamet, gay black man, yeah. got out, no problems? 
New mayor, gay black woman. Wow, wow, wow. Gay black woman? Yes. I didn't hear you gay. Yourself. And, and, and? Jesse Smollett was good friends with the Obamas, who were the former mayors of Chicago. Look at that. Obama was mad in Chicago. Yeah, that's where he started in politics. No way he was mad in Chicago. Yes, he was. I never hear that. I first time hear from you. He was the leader of Chicago. Mayor of Chicago? Yeah. Never ever. Okay. <clears throat> hey, sorry. Did Obama was mayor of Chicago? I know it was Jerry Springer, for example. Okay. <laughs> I found something on the web for did Obama was mad of Chicago. I know it was Joey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, sorry. But she is 56 years old. She is the new Jerry, mayor. Jerry, She's the new Jerry. mayor of the Jerry. third largest city. No, 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 no. And she, she is now the mayor of the third largest city in the United States. Yes. First black gay chick. The mayor is, she likes to eat pussy, and she's now the new ruler of Chicago. She got to be shut. Why? Why do you put that energy out there? Because Chicago is crazy. I was in Chicago, it's crazy over there. Mm-hmm. It's a really violent a lot of people, the most people dying in Chicago every fucking year. Mm. It's sad. No, the black gay done. woman That's the show. That's the show. That's the show. That's it for today? Yeah, that's it. We're already an hour, one minute. Right? All right, I open my door. I'm teleporting myself to Philadelphia. Okay. Uh, meet DiCaprio. Sounds good. It was very nice to meet DiCaprio today by you. Sure. Next next program. <laughs> you sound exactly like him. <laughs> <laughs> and next time, yeah. make sure you know who you met next time. I'm going to be that person for you. Sure. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Happy Easter. <laughs> Still like three weeks away. <laughs> Just in case if we're teleporting too fast. Oh, okay. And uh, happy Hanukkah. Oh, wow. And... Happy Kwanzaa. All right. What is this, people? And happy stone time in Brudna. Brudna. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs>